Hey everyone! Welcome back to Beauty That Doesn't Fade by Elsa Marie. I'm only going to talk about things that that I'm actually applying in my own life or, you know, lessons that I'm learning. Um, what else can I say now? Uh, do, 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 do. So I've been practicing just taking a step back. I like to look at the bigger picture. I learned this with arguments and things like this. If you're in, a, in an argument, it's better just to be slow to speak, <laughs> slow to anchor, and just be quick to listen, right? So just listen and just close up and just take a step back. Take a step back in yourself. Take a step back from the situation. Assess it, you know, because our words, we are accountable for what we speak, right? Over each other, over people. And you don't want to be in the heat of the moment releasing something that's just going to cause like a lifetime of damage to somebody. Like why, why would we want to sow that? We're going to reap it, right? And I always measure it now by this isn't worth having an argument over. Like, I want this person in my life. And so, I mean, if it means taking some space from them, and maybe it does mean that until until you could talk and be, be um, civil with one another again. But the end goal should be to love one another, right? And to forgive each other and to, to move forward and to move forward together and to grow. So for me, people matter. I mean my relationships matter. My my goal is, I mean, I don't, I like, I like bridges, you know, I don't like this whole separation and, and, and cutting off and, and whatever. I know it's sometimes necessary until things can come into health, but my heart is always for, you know, being together, right? And, and forming a community. Getting to know people is, is not just a blessing for them. It's a blessing for you too, because I, this whole world is about connection, right? And we're all wanting to connect with each other and we're all wanting to connect with like-minded people. We're such a connected, connected but disconnected, right? Like through YouTube and other types of media, social media today, we can connect to people around the world. Skype, instant messaging, you know, where a long time ago would have to be letters. Like I remember my parents talking about how they'd have to wait for like a month, you know, sometimes for their love letters, like... It was from, from the Philippines to Canada, right? The, the desire to connect, it would stand the test of time, right? Well, today we're in instant messaging. I mean, if, if my text is like thinking for a second, I'm annoyed. We're a microwave generation now where everything is instant and everything is now, right? But the only problem with instant and in now is that you don't build actual relationship with each other. You don't actually get to come along in each other's journeys together. You don't actually get to you know, link hands and experience um, realities and just be a blessing to one another, you know, try to be a blessing as much as you can to, to uh, like sow into people today and, and have your, have your life be a positive influence on others, you know, and be an encouragement and an inspiration to help people, you know, pick up no matter what's happened in their life to pick up and just keep on going. I, I wanted to be more purposeful now too with my time. So when I connect on YouTube, I want to connect with my journey because hopefully this is going to encourage somebody else with their journey, right? I'm, I'm sowing in my time and I'm sowing in my effort and my energy, but hopefully this is going to have an impact and this is going to um, be a benefit to somebody else too. If this is what you're looking for, it, you know, to, to know that what I do today can affect uh, my life tomorrow, can affect other people's lives tomorrow. Yeah, I hope that that encouraged some of you out there anyways to have hope for your future. Know that you've got a destiny and that you've got a purpose. And again, there's nobody else on this earth that can do what you can do. And we need you. And the world needs you. They need to see you. They need to see what you can do and who you are. And, you know, you're amazing. I just want to encourage you to to take steps towards the bigger picture in life and enjoying your life and looking for the beauty in life too. And uh, I know that whatever we focus on, we empower. So I don't want to focus on negative and darkness and, you know, death and, and sadness. I would rather focus on the positive. I want to, I want to magnify the positive, right? I want to magnify um, what I want to see in my life. So I don't want to keep my eyes set here, like beneath me. I want to set them on things above. I want to, I want to have a heavenly mindset. I want to have a, um, you know, higher perspective again. Uh, who knows how many days you've got on this earth, right? Who knows how many days I've got on this earth?
But each day that I do have in this, I want to live with, with passion. I want to live it with inspiration and encouragement. And I'm hoping that it's going to bless and encourage even one of you out there. And if it did, I mean, comment, let me know. Um, that would encourage me so much too, just to know that I'm not just blabbing about nothing and that this is actually encouragement to you guys. Yeah. So that's my inner beauty chat today. I so appreciate each and every one of you guys for taking the time to just watch my videos and get to know me. So um, if you want to follow me, you can follow me on my Facebook page, Beauty That Doesn't Fade with Elsa Marie. Um, I do have Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, which I am slowly learning still. Such a learning curve for me. I know how you take your picture and you post it or something, but I'm trying to learn how to link all my social media together. And so I'm learning and I'm being honest about it. I guess until next week. Bye. Ha, 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 ha.